Hello, so welcome to Blockchain Prime. And today in this video, I will be discussing how you can connect your MetaMask to Kava Testnet. And in the previous video, we discussed about what is Kava Chain and stuff like that. And if you are new on this channel, make sure to follow this playlist because we will be building a full stack DApp on top of Kava Chain, which is going to be a greater DApp. So let's get started. Just open your Firefox or any other browser like Chrome and enter metamask search for it you will see metamask.io url there just click on it and you can download the extension from here just in case you are new to web3 or you don't know what metamask is then in brief i can tell you that it is a wallet extension which helps you to connect to web3 applications which are built on top of ethereum or evm compatible chains so I'm downloading it from Firefox. There is also an application for Android and iOS. Just scroll down and click on install MetaMask for Firefox. Just in case uh, you are using Chrome, then it will write like install MetaMask for Chrome and then you can download it from there. All the steps are similar and same for all the operating systems. Like you can follow it on Ubuntu, Mac OS, Windows, anywhere. So we have installed MetaMask. Now, when we click on this icon, it tells us "Welcome to MetaMask, connecting you to Ethereum and decentralized web." We are happy to help you. So just click on "Get Started" and read these instructions. I have read them, so I'm clicking on "I Agree." And now there are two options: like you can import your wallet or create a new wallet. So for the purpose of development, I would recommend you to create a new wallet because just in case your private keys or secret phrase gets leaked, then none of your funds are going to be hampered just because you are doing or you have made this wallet just for development purpose. So there is no need to like worry about it much. So I'm clicking on create a wallet and from there I have to choose a password it has generated a password for me so yeah i have read and agree the terms of use clicking on create so it is going to create a like a wallet for me and you can go through this video read it here like what is a 12 phase phrase word or what is a secret recovery phrase and why it is so important so clicking on next now this is recovery phrase, I have to reveal it and never ever share this secret phrase with anyone or else they will be able to like claim your funds, they will be able to hack into your account and claim all the money which is there. So yep, I have copied this 12 phrase recovery word and don't worry, I will just delete this account later. This is just for the sake of this video. I am revealing this. So yeah, I have copied it. Now I have to enter all these words in the same order. Like must lonely border. Must. And make sure that you store it somewhere which is like a really safe place so that anytime if you need this phrase you will be able to have it in your hands at any time. Uh, grab shock. Yep. So congratulations you have made your first wallet and you have also used the recovery phrase. So here you can see that it is connected to Ethereum mainnet right but we want to connect to kava chain the main reason for doing that is suppose you want to buy a dress then you won't go to any grocery store to buy a dress right so similarly if you want to deploy deploy a dap on kava chain you have to use the kava test net or kava network kava main net or stuff like that like a kava ecosystem should be used to deploy dap on kava instead of using Ethereum in it. Okay, pretty simple. Like, yeah. So now search Kava. 
कब आए हो सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट फ्रॉम वे वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द कन्फिग्रेशन विच वी विल नीड टू कनेक्ट दिस मेटा मास्क वॉलेट एक्सटेंशन विद कावा चेन सो आई क्लिक डॉन कावा डॉट आयो ऑल्सो आई विल लीव ऑल दीज लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड फ्रॉम देअर इंट्रो टू कावा यो वी कैन सी दैट so this is how you can connect to metamask and always remember that whenever you are exploring a new blockchain make sure to follow its documentation it is a bible for you you will get everything which is there on that particular blockchain in the documentation itself so you don't have to go to any other source first now i am going to connect with testnet the main reason for connecting with testnet rather than going for the direct mainnet is that uh, suppose you are building a dapp then it is not practically feasible for you to pay money for each transaction like reading stuff from blockchain is free but whenever you want to like make a some changes or write something in the blockchain then you have to pay some fees which is known as gas fee or transaction okay so for any change we need to do transaction and it is not practically feasible for us to pay every time so we use testnet and in testnet we get free testnet tokens we can which we can use in our development purpose and after the whole development we are just going to deploy our dapp on the mainnet so these are the configurations which we need to add in our metamask to make sure that it will be able to connect to the kava testnet so just click on metamask click on ethereum mainnet click on add network now just click add network manually and copy paste everything from here like network name the rpc url chain id and this field is optional so let it be like that only now yeah so we are connected to kava evm testnet now we need to claim free tokens so from where we can get these tokens just go to google write kava testnet faucet what is a faucet faucet is a place from which you can claim free testnet tokens so click here faucet.kava.io there you have to select the type of wallet so we are using metamask so select it now you have to write the recipient evm address so go to this metamask extension page or you can just click here and from here you will be able to see like kava evm ethereum mainnet and like that so just copy this address paste it here confirm that you are human maybe you are so yeah now verify click on request tokens now this is processing and 100 testnet tokens will be sent to your wallet so yeah it says that it has confirmed the transaction now let's see if we got our funds or not so yep now we have 100 kava tokens which are around 104.80 usd but this value has no significance because all these are just testnet tokens they are not listed on the mainnet so you won't be able to do any transaction on the mainnet basically you cannot convert these tokens into money and withdraw it they are useless for now so okay if you like this video make sure to check out our other videos on our channel and in the next video i will be telling you how you can deploy your smart contract and how you can write it and yep that's pretty much it so thank you see you in the next video